Hi all and welcome back. So in today's tutorial we will be looking on one of the great topic okay which a lot of people are not aware about and I am also not sure whether my understanding is accurate okay. So today we will be looking into two methods in the glide record which is initialize and new record and we will try to find the difference between both this method. There is a very niche line between these two methods and I will try to figure it out means not figure it out I will try to share my understanding of these methods okay so this is my service now instance okay for this I will be using a fixed script fixed script okay just to draft certain script okay and we will execute this particular script on explore so I will open explore on one side okay so I will show you and we will go to the we will try the experiment on our favorite table called incident okay so let me sort it out by number okay it's already sorted by number okay so let's see okay so whenever we want to create a record okay how we create a record so we know only two method and a lot of people are using initialize okay we do glide record then we do initialize we set the values and we insert it out okay but ideally actually there are three methods okay I will show you one by one so for example if I am doing variable a incident equal to new glide record it should be record and if I'm passing it incident okay and what I will do I will log certain things out so I will not write in the first instance I will not write initialize on new record and we will see what exactly will be the output okay if we are not adding all these things so I will give js dot info okay I just want to give uh, note down I just want to get the output of certain predefined fields okay what exactly the output we are getting for those fields so I'll be giving active equal to mm, will be plus incident dot active okay in the similar way uh, I will take few more attributes okay which will help us also to understand it more deeply so I will give open add then I will I can take state I can take um, I can take society I can take number okay this so I will active I will give sys id okay let's do it quickly then afterwards I want to give number it will be number it's pretty interesting you will come to know what I'm trying to do open let's go add open that at which particular time it got opened okay, add okay and last two attribute I will give state so the first scenario what we are trying to do I am I am not adding any initialize or new record okay and I am simply trying to do um, incident dot insert so I was under the assumption that it should throw an error okay so let's see whether it throws an error for me or not okay so I'll go over here currently the incident count is 69 okay now uh, we will go to the explore we'll paste the same, the same script okay and we will execute it out so if we execute it out now you can see everything is undefined nothing is defined active is not defined society is not defined number is defined because this is not a valid method according to me okay state is not defined okay I can add one more attribute over here gs mm, dot info okay and I can make it like I will check whether it's a new record is new new record okay and we can just give it like two, two, two. 
incident dot is new record perfect let's execute it once once more okay and let's see if if it's a new record also so it's getting executed and it didn't give oh i made a mistake over here so if i execute it out it gave is new record is false and everything else is undefined okay let's see so we had 69 incident we executed the script three times according to me it should not create any record but let's see what happened so i actually it created three record i didn't give anything okay then also it created few records and you can see it's it just uh if i to open sort by open okay so these are the three records okay it has some default values okay but um, it get created okay so this is pretty strange thing for me okay but i i will recommend that you should not try this thing out okay now let's come to the point okay where we were discussing on the new record and initialize so let's try to figure out the difference between both this method okay so let's see let's mark it as first scenario it was like without anything okay now we will try it with with any initialize what will happen we will have the same set of code okay i will not change anything on it just one thing i will change that is i will add initialize to it so we have incident and then i will do incident dot initialize okay rest all the things are same okay i will copy it out and let's try to run this now so i will simply paste it and then run so let's see what's coming now instead of undefined we are getting null values okay so now active is false okay it's getting default value state is getting its default value sys id is empty number is empty open at is empty because the record is not being inserted right so this is the second scenario okay this is how it's working with the new initialize so let's see the documentation the definition according to the service not docs for initialize so what initialize does initialize creates an empty record within the current declared record that is suitable for population before an insert so it's just creating an empty record you can see how uh, it's not getting set with any value okay no number no sys id okay it will be on a run time i think when the record get inserted and after that this get this things are getting set on the record okay so this is how the initialize works let's try to see how new record works now now we are pretty clear what is the outcome of this two okay now let's try to do it with new record and then we will see ki okay what are the competitive analysis means edge in any of this record okay so i will go new record okay and one more thing here the new record is still false but ideally if you think in a generic sense okay it should give true right because we are inserting a new record it's a framework for new record right so we are trying to create a new record so ideally it should give new record but it's giving it as false not sure why okay now let's try with the new record one so i will replace this initialize with the new record okay perfect and now if we execute it out let's see what difference we can see now so if i go back to the explorer i paste the code and if i run now now you can see before inserting also we got all the default values for the record okay so we got sys id we got number we got open at okay and and is new record is also setting as true so one thing one thing you have to take into consideration so um when exactly you you will be providing this out okay so first thing is like if you are adding some conditions okay on form level so if you go if i go to the form okay if i go to the form let me do incident new incident so here 
you can call it uh, you can say that it's working as a new record because it has the number it has the society okay it has everything set okay all the default values are set before even inserting the record so it's pre defining the values okay before the insert itself okay so you can call it like it's using a new record so whenever according to my understanding so if you want to create any ui action right uh, which should be visible before submitting the record okay then you should always use new record function okay means if you want to do some validation before insert also okay so in a ui action is new record will be means you can say it's working on top of new record only okay not initialize is initialize is not working on the form level that's one thing that was one of the conclusion which i built in the second conclusion which we can think of is for example if if you want to perform certain action right before the record is getting inserted okay then probably um then probably you can use new record for example now if uh, how i can explain for example now i have open that okay so open that will get set with a value okay which which got initialized at that particular moment right so if i want to do certain operation not on this particular table but on different table based on this particular attribute okay then i can perform this thing for example if i'm creating incident and i have a custom table and in that particular custom table i want to insert a record with the same time stamp right before this record get inserted okay then i can do this kind of stuff but it's a rare case of scenario okay where you will require the default values before even inserting the data okay so this is what this is what my understanding is on this uh what this is the difference i can see clearly on initialize and new record i try to find a lot of things on the internet okay a lot of community guidelines or also i tried to see what is the exact means on a practical example what is the what is the difference between this okay for example if i at what particular stage what should i use right there is no proper documentation on this if anyone have any idea on this particular thing okay if anyone has clear idea what is the difference you can please drop a comment okay it will help me out also a lot to figure it out but this was my understanding so i am sharing my understanding with you in this tutorial okay hope you like this video okay please like follow subscribe if you have any queries or if you know the answer for the same please mention it in the comments and stay safe stay happy and have a nice day thank you